it was merely years, several years after the U.S. first uh, enacted embargo on the Soviet Union that the sheer will of the German people and the Soviet people caused the Berlin Wall to fall and with it the Soviet regime. And we rep as, uh, here at NFIC supported by hundreds of millions of Chinese worldwide believe the same, that as long as America, as soon as America stops supporting the Chinese Communist Party from DOJ, from Wall Street, from big tech, as soon as we decouple from the CCP, the sheer corrupt weight of the CCP will cause the regime to fall on its own. And sir, you know, what do you think about that? Uh, well, we all remember, uh, not fondly, uh, what happened at Tiananmen Square uh, in the late 1980s. Well, that was a tr ultimately was a demonstration of great courage on the part of the people in Beijing. Unfortunately, it was beaten down ruthlessly by the Chinese government. But one should not allow that defeat painful and bloody though it was, uh, to discourage people from taking other measures to bring this regime down. And it is very sad to see policies in, in, embraced by uh, the U.S. government at all levels actually strengthening the government in China. Here's a quick example. Uh, the Biden administration's embrace of what they call an energy transition to energy which they say will be green and clean. Well, the People's Republic of China controls the supply chain for wind turbines, solar panels, and the batteries that go into electric vehicles. That transition will line the pockets of people in Beijing and uh, people who are doing business with them elsewhere Again, to the detriment of the people in China, as likewise to the detriment of the people in the United States, Europe, and elsewhere. These policies undertaken for purely selfish reasons, uh, to make money and to put even more governmental power into the hands of fewer people in the name of combating the so-called climate crisis, which is a complete hoax. These are the kinds of things uh, that we can stop. It could, they can be stopped in this country by recognizing what the ultimate goal is. Domestically in the United States, it's to put more power into the hands of fewer people. And, of course, the government in Be Beijing is perfectly willing to go along with this uh, because it strengthens their power. China is currently the biggest geopolitical rival of the United States. What in the world are we doing strengthening that geopolitical power? We gave up our energy independence as the world's biggest producer of oil and natural gas only to make ourselves dependent on a government in Beijing which does not wish the people of China well and doesn't wish the rest of the world well either. Wow, beautifully said, sir. Thank you so much.